The medical team in this intensive care unit at Mayo Clinic is on high alert 24-7, watching for signs of sepsis. Sepsis is a potentially life-threatening uh, complication related to an infection. Dr. Kanan Ramar says every year, close to three-quarters of a million people in the U.S. develop a septic reaction. It happens when an infection prompts the immune system to kick into overdrive, causing problems such as kidney failure, liver failure, severe drops in blood pressure, and even death. It becomes very important that this is recognized early. That's because the death rate can be very high, up to 75 percent for people who develop sepsis at home and up to 25 percent for those who get it in the hospital. It's almost similar to uh, treating a heart attack or a stroke where you have a, a, a very short window. That window is six hours. Dr. Ramar's team uses what are called sepsis sniffers, technology that monitors things like fever, heart rate, and blood pressure, and alerts the medical team when a patient's in danger. Okay, I think let's go ahead and activate the sepsis response team. We have a patient in room number 20. We want to activate the SRT. If blood tests confirm that's true, the septic response team launches into action. It's a big multidisciplinary approach to do this. And uh, so all members of the ICU team are actively involved uh, to get, get this aggressive resuscitation going and to get all things done within that six-hour window period. Let's get the central line ready. We did give a dose down in the ED, okay, so continue good. with that. We follow uh, what we call as the surviving sepsis resuscitation guidelines. Methods of best practice developed by the Society of Critical Care Medicine to ensure the best possible treatment for patients. If the necessary things are done, then the mortality drops down dramatically. Sniffing out sepsis and saving lives. For Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Vivian Williams.